Hey everyone, uh, this is Diego from Bravo and today I would like to show you how to upload images from a Bravo app uh, to Shano because uh, we need to make some changes on the API endpoints uh, to make it work. So uh, I have created a simple screen with a form as you can see here this, we have the component input image uh, tag and a couple more uh, input text and then uh, also the actual submit and uh, in if we go to Shano we have a single table called event uh, with some uh, fields and uh, the interesting one is this one the image I have created it like uh, let's see like storage and image metadata so we can actually see the image in the Sano side and then uh, if we go back uh, to the API let's see uh, we are going to use this post endpoint and this is how we uh, see it by default we see the image field is as image um, uh, type and uh, so we are going to change this uh, first we make it invisible to the API we save then we're going to uh, create a new input as a text called image URL and save this is because um, Bravo uploads the image to AWS by Amazon and it returns a URL so actually we're going to upload the text which is the URL and then make a uh, channel to create an actual image from that URL so uh, now we are going to create a new function um, called, we select content upload uh, create image metadata and as a variable name we can use anything like image for example uh, as the value, we're going to uh, select the input that we have created, image URL, we save, and then uh, this needs to be here at the beginning, um, and then we're going to select that variable that we have created, image, and save, and that's it. Uh, now we need to publish and now it's uh, already done. Uh, so remember uh, in Bravo, uh, we need to use, this is the uh, actual um, endpoint that we have created. We need to use the image URL name, variable name. Um, and then in the app, you see that uh, in the binding, we need to select this image URL field. And that's it. I hope everything is clear now. Thank you for watching the video.